Assalamu alaikum. Hope you are doing well. If you are new to my channel, please subscribe and hit the bell icon. Okay, so in this video, we are going to show a full function. Let me share the problem first. So this is a table, so ID is score. And I want to add three new columns like rack type and the default value will be cell for the drawer, then plate type, default 96, plate position 1. And later on I can add new column name and their default value. And then it will add those columns and then uh, it will show me the result table. So one possible way is that I can add manually. So this is the source table that I do have this uh, at the start ID and each code. And I can just add this like uh, instead of custom, let's say plate type. And I can just put that okay, this will be rec type or something or some just a default value. Okay, so one way is this one. Let me just see the list. So rec type will be seal for the drawer. So I can just do those that manually add those columns. And later on, I can just go into this section again, add a new column. But the problem is that. Uh, it's not dynamic i cannot add a new column in this section and it will work automatically if i wants to add a new column in this section in this column list then i have to change this short stable data also if the data is changed so like if this data so instead of seal for a drive if it's changed to something else then this will not update automatically because we are fixing the value in this section so that that's one issue and that's the main focus of this video so we want to make this dynamic so that you can add new column in this section also you can change those value so let me show you in an in action so let me delete this so i'll make a duplicate of this so let's say uh, result okay so what we need to do we need to know this column list first right so I'll get that column list into this table. So I'll just write that okay column list. And it gives me this column list. Now I can just make this a list of rows. So two rows. So this one. Sorry. So what it will do is that it will make list for each of this row. So the first row will have this, uh, you know, the first column value, second column value, third column value, and so on. So this one is the column name of the result table, and this is the default value. This one is the second row, this column list table, and this one is the third row. So if you add new row, then it will make one more uh, item in this section. So this is list uh, inside a list. So a zip list okay so what we need to do we need to just accumulate this process so for that we have a very good function that do this process very easily so like list dot accumulate and it's expect that we will provide a list and we will provide a seed seed means that the start point so the start point will be our table so that is actually source okay and then accumulator as a function this takes two arguments so one is the first argument that is the accumulated value so that I can say that table one which on which column will be added And becoming verbose oh, but I like that okay so and then the second argument is the current value of this list so that is column details you can say and this should be a function so equal and then arrow and then we can just say okay table dot add column so 
this will take table as a input so that is this one table on which we need to add the column new column name so that is actually uh, this uh, column details first value so that is we can say column details and for list we need positional index so that is zero is the first index and this h and the value will be column details and the default value is in the one index so let's to accumulate it's saying common comma cannot precede right parent so let's see where it's Oh, yeah it does work so this id and then score and then rack type plate type and plate position you can see this uh, column has been added in this section okay so, so why i'm putting this each so let me show you that part so i i do have this source table right so i can just say that okay inside the source table when i do this custom column and uh, let's say let's custom and let's say put pof then if you see the code then it's saying each tof that means in each of this row it will be tof so this this takes a function as an argument so if i see this function definition so you can see the last argument is column generator as a function so that's why each and then tof so that's why I'm adding this uh, each and then column details and one. So this zero is actually this rec type and each and then column details is this trim dash 40 drive. And then list accumulate just uh, you know return one item as an output. So this is a good match for this uh, particular case. So that's the way and so let me show you if i add new data or change the data then it's work or not so table i'll store this into table so you can see this okay so if i add let's say pc method let's say put tof come here and refresh the query and you can see this tof is added in this section if i delete any one of this let's say delete this one and then came here and just refresh and that is removed so that's the dynamicity of this particular uh, solution so like i can change this number as well so let's say instead of 40 i just need to 50. i can came here and refresh and this is updated so that's the way now the issue is that uh, this is specifically related to these two particular um, table so that's where we want to make this so that we can use it in any table uh, if the format is similar so that's why I make this you know, function so that is it. similarly this one so i just replace these two variables so like i just replace this one to the first argument so that will be like main table and i just replace this one column list with the you know column details table so that's the two things we need to change in this section so that is being changed in this section so like main table so that is the table on which we need to update uh, sorry add the column and this is the column details so the column details will have the column name and column default value so like let me show you in action so if i choose the source table and if i choose this column list and then if i invoke then it does the same thing as in this section so that's it thank you for watching have a good day